Alrighty guys, so I've got my iPhone X um, in a beautiful moment case, um, which can take obviously aftermarket lenses and filters and that kind of stuff. Really, really recommend them. Awesome, awesome product. And I've got my blank uncut foam, and obviously I've got my Gido Mobile. So I'm gonna show you guys how to cut this foam out um, for your phone, whether it's a Samsung or Huawei, the process is gonna be exactly the same. Um, pretty quick as well, so let's jump right into it. So we're gonna move the Gino Mobile out the way. We don't actually need this right now. Um, and we're gonna have a look at this. Okay, so what we've got here is this hole is more or less in the center of where your lens is gonna be. So what we can actually do, is we take the phone and we now marry up the lens. Um, I know my main lens is that top one. You guys just need to figure it out. If you've got multiple lenses, go into your photo modes and then just block out a lens and see if your photo is affected. If it's not affected, then it's not your main lens and you can block that out. Um, I know mine on this iPhone X is that top one over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna marry that up. I can see that mine is gonna be more or less over there. And then what we have is we can quickly take a look at the back here and just make sure that everything's gonna be 100%. So we're gonna put that there. It's gonna be more or less like that. You turn it over can see that that is looking pretty good in the center there. Uh, let's move back out the way and now we can place that phone one more time and we can turn them over. We can see, okay, cool, that lens is looking pretty good there. And we put them down like that. And then we can get out our pen. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna run an outline with our pen Try not move it like that. Okay, and that's basically that, guys. So once that's cut out, we, we do know that there is gonna be a little bit of foam left over, um, over here, um, that little gap there. But you can put that in afterwards if you want to. But again, I like to just basically cut up to here, um, and then I cut off there, and I cut off there, and then I actually leave that open, and these two spots hold it in place quite nicely. Um, so I've got myself a little blade here and basically what we're going to do is we're actually going to score so we're not going to try to cut all the way through but we are going to just lightly cut the first layer we call this scoring so we're not cutting all the way through but we are cutting we are cutting maybe a third of the way in okay let's cut down here it's quite easy to cut the straight lines, guys. The corners do get a little bit more tricky. Um, but again, if you take a little bit more time, put a little bit more effort in, you can get a really nice result out. But again, this does not need to be perfect. Um, and what you do is, on your second cut, third cut, you cut deeper and deeper and deeper until you are through. Um, be careful not to cut into your nice genome bag. Um, that would be a bit of a disaster, but I don't want to cut into my nice table either. Okay, so we are gonna cut through here. And we're gonna get that going a little bit deeper every time. And I know that I am almost through now. And you can basically just bend and pull the rest of the way. That is that guys um, so now this is gonna go like that and when it's in the phone case it should be absolutely perfect Alright guys, so next step is taking your cell phone and your Bluetooth remote. What we're going to do is we can go on here, we're going to get into our settings and we are going to turn on our Bluetooth. So there we go, Bluetooth being turned on. We now move on to our remote on the side here. There's a little thing, you can click on there, you can see a blue light appear 
and the blue light has gone off and let's have a look and it's showing shutter camera has now been connected um, and to test that we are going to hit the photo button and it should activate the volume so you can see every time i click the volume button and basically what that does is when you're in a mode for instance we're in slow motion now if i click that button here it starts recording if i click it again it's going to stop recording okay you need to understand this is not waterproof so it needs to go with your phone inside the unit um, you've seen i've already cut this up beautifully i wouldn't say beautifully because it's a horrible job um, i wasn't great in kindergarten to be honest with cutting it's a problem being left-handed um, all the lefties out there will know the struggles of cutting um, but anyway we are going to now put your phone in here and um, what i do suggest which i haven't done is just cut a little area around there so you're able to push your finger through and turn your phone on or off you still are able to do it through the phone um, but it just does make it a bit easier if you do cut a little hole there and um, i'm going to find a space for my remote um, i do quite like having it up at the top here and um, easy for me to press while my hand is on the handle we're also going to show you how to mount your handle in a little bit um, okay but basically all you need to do now as you can see everything is in there nice and secure this cover is going to get closed over um, and you're going to apply a little bit of pressure just in that direction away from here just to make sure that these are lined up correctly and then you can start basically anywhere um, I do tend to start on these two screws um, they are kind of the central ones backwards and the final one some guys do like to cut a hole out for this remote um, I also do like to do this I just haven't done it um, but you definitely can do that and we do recommend it um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically do a basic finger tighten and we're gonna pull back like this if you guys I don't know if you guys can see that but right now over there that is just not moving at all um, and that normally means that we've got a pretty good seal um, so what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna loosen and we're gonna repeat the same process and you can see that is now pulled away and we're starting to fill up with some air and that's exactly what we want and we're gonna start tightening up there we go, we're gonna tighten up nicely. Cool, that's perfect. You can see we've got like that nice convex shape, uh, which is exactly what we're looking for. Notice that we are working on top of this um, bag here so that we don't scratch the dome um, is essential. And then guys, all we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure these are tightened nicely. These back bolts especially must be tightened properly um, as these basically seal up the whole system okay so that's perfect now we can see there's a nice convex shape there a nice bubble um, nothing's actually touching the screen right now um, you are still able to move this remote a little bit I like to as I said have it right up in the corner there um, when we click um, Let's quickly put in, well, I'm not going to show you guys my password, which is fine, I'll show you quickly. Um, okay, so we are in the business now. You can see, we can see there, um, we're going to click, we're recording, click, we're stopping, click, recording, stopping, guess what? Finger works as well, stop, record, we're going to change, we can change. Um, So yeah, you've got both the remote functionality and you've got the screen functionality. Remember, we're trying to keep water off the screen. If any water is directly touching the screen, as well as touching basically on your phone, it's gonna make your screen think that there's a touch activation. That's why we are doing this um, convex shape. Um, it also does show you that there's no water that is gonna go in here. And that is the basic pressure test that you can do. You can just push hard over here. You can see absolutely no air escaping. If the air is not escaping, guys, the water is not going to get in. 
Also, if you're in the water and you can see that shape, that you know that you are good to go. Um, if you do see the shape starting to go down, you know that you can get out the water quite quickly. Um, what we've done uh, with this G-Dome here, uh, if I can push this one out the way, um, you can see there's fins here. And when you, look at your, when you look at your dome, when you get it and you take the foam out, you can see those fins. But basically, these are there in an emergency situation. If you do need to um, get out and water has somehow got in, whether it's been punctured by a fishing hook or whatever the story is, um, you will be able to just angle your dome similar to this in an angle like that and bring it up and all the water is going to be trapped there and kept away from your phone so your phone will be protected um, yeah and that's one of the small little designs that we've put in place specifically as a safety measure but again we've been using this for a long time guys um, as long as you've got this you're being sensible you're not doing anything that could puncture this um, membrane over here you guys are going to be good to go you're going to have a lot of good fun with your g-dom um, but yeah as you can see your touch functionality works 100% um, and yeah guys we just are super super stoked so this is now ready to go shoot um, but yeah stay tuned for some more tutorials showing you a few little basic tricks and tips and yeah look forward to seeing your guys shots